Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a multilingual form um, for getting feedback from families that um, prefer languages other than English. Uh, I like to use this Japanese form as an example when I'm showing um, teachers at school about why we need to do this. So if, if you're a teacher or you know, a, an administrator at a school sending out questionnaires, you know, forms to parents to get feedback, and you're not translating it for, the, for all the families, you know, some families are going to see something that basically to them looks like this. Right? If you don't know Japanese, this means nothing to you probably. So I use just that as an example of why sending out an English-only form is, is not a best practice and what sort of a message it's sending to the families. All right, now there's a few situations, a few ways to do this. If you only have a couple of languages, this way is, um, this is probably the easiest. Especially like from, from my schools, 90% of it is gonna be covered by English and Spanish. So here I have Japanese because that's the example I was using when I made these, but just imagine this in Spanish or Somali or whatever your most common language other than English is. Here, we're just having two languages per question, right? So here's the explanation, right? I really, I should have put this in Japanese also, but um, the explanation has English and Japanese. The question, what is the airspeed of an unladen uh, swallow, right? And then in Japanese also. So the Japanese, the families that prefer Japanese language will, you know, we always want to give them the English also. Partly because they may know some English, they may be able to read some of the English, right? And then they may fall back on the, the Japanese if there's stuff they don't understand. Or the reverse, right? They may, they'll read the Japanese, but then if the Japanese is messed up by, you know, Google Translate or whatever you use to translate it, they've got the English to help figure out what was really meant. Right? And families are good. Many families are used to using things like Google Translate. You know, they're using it themselves. So they know there are going to be mistakes. They know that there's going to be screw-ups, you know, in the translation sometimes. So um, we do our best, right? So here we just have, you know, question, Japanese, you know, English, Japanese, English, Japanese, right? Um, and then in your responses, everything's together, right? You don't have to worry about them being separated out by language. Um, if you're not familiar with it, many people are happy with just this, but if you're not familiar with it, view in sheets is here. That will open your, your responses up in a spreadsheet. Okay, so here in my driving, see here's my spreadsheet for this one. And everything, here's the question and all the answers are in one column. In this case with the English and the Japanese together. That's fine. Um, but if you needed to do some more advanced analysis or something, you can open the spreadsheet and you've got the data. All right. Um, the next possibility is using sections. So in this form, which is loading very slowly for some reason, come on, you can do it. Here we go. So in this form, you're using sections um, to choose which language. So here you have English, Japanese, Right? If you, you could have three or four, you just need to make the sections appropriate for each. And then here, after section one, go to section four, the thanks. That's down here, section four. But that looks like a problem, but it won't be. Because in here, with each answer, we have it go to a section. So this should never come up. This go to section four should never come up. But if there is a mess up, it'll just go to the end. Okay. Um, so now here, the section two is English, and we just have the English questions. And then section three is the Japanese. We have the Japanese questions. All right. If you needed more, you would have more. And then the section four, I need to put, I didn't finish this, I, I admit. I need to put um, the Japanese in here too. Or like it says, you could have a submit after each language. Um, depends on how much time you have, how much you want to do, how many languages, right? If you try to put seven languages into this section, it might be a little confusing, right? Um, but anyhow, that's how you do it with one, each section is a language. The issue comes up though, when you look at the results, now each question, each language, right? The question's a different column. 
right here I did add Spanish somewhere, right? Um, that I'm not sure that wasn't shown on the form anymore. I must have deleted it. But so anyway, right? Each so your English answers are here, and your Japanese answers are here, and your Spanish answers would be here, right? So that makes it a little more difficult because um, if you have a lot of things, basically what you need to do is right move this over here, move it all to one column, and if you have a lot of different questions, that's going to get a, you know, a little bit difficult and maybe time consuming. Uh, it's possible you make an error, right? So this, the drawback is that it's all separate, right? Um, it's not an insurmountable issue, but it is something to be aware of. Uh, the way to get around that is a form, um, for example, not this one, sorry, this one is to take a form like this that has two languages per and just make multiple copies, right? So if you need, say you need, you know, you need Arabic, you need Chinese, and you need Spanish, in addition to English, of course. So you would make a copy of this form, and then once it's made, right, maybe rename it to, right, English and, or I like to do just ing and espanol, right? And now, now you would change all the Japanese out for Spanish, right? And then make another copy, right? Make another copy. And what's it? Okay, there we go. And rename this to. Right, ing and say um, Arabic. I'm not sure of the three letter code for Arabic, so I'm just gonna, ara. that's probably wrong. But, so you see now we've got this one, and then we would do the same thing. This has the advantage of everyone still getting English and their language, right? But they, um, you don't have like, if, if you try to do this with seven languages, you know, bah, Sp you know, Spanish here, Arabic, right? It's going to get very long and annoying, and people are going to have, you know, people are going to struggle to find their language. Oops, right? So having separate is better, but also because each each form will be like this, where all the answers are together. Right, question one, question two, question three, four, right? Then you have to open up each spreadsheet separately, but you can just copy column B and paste it into column B of the main form. Copy column C, paste it into column C of the main form, right? The main um, results spreadsheet. So therefore, it's easier than trying to do, um, like with this one, where they're, all, they're in different columns and you have to drag columns around. It's easier if I can just come in here and paste question the answers to question B just into B. Question C, C. So it is, again, it's a little more work, but it's, you're less likely to make a mistake with it, right? So anyhow, that's the other way is to do that. So we've, we've looked at three ways. You can make two languages per question um, and then make different, different ones for different languages, always including the English. Um, you can make with a with a section where you choose the section, choose the language. Um, and I should have, where did I leave that? Thought I've lost it now, there it is. One thing I didn't do is I did not include, um, oh yeah, I, I, I put it in Spanish here because I was showing how to uh, switch it around. But what I didn't, what I forgot to do was include the English in each section. Um, you probably want to do that. I didn't do it here, but it's not hard because you can just um, copy and paste all at once, right? Just the way you do this and the way you go to preview, right? Copy this, right? Go to Google Translate, paste it in, right? And so, 
No. Get rid of that, right? And then say, get your Spanish. Right? Copy the Spanish um, because, what form did it come from? This one. Because when you paste, right, let me add a new question. Wait, I'm just going to paste here. So it automatically, every carriage return is a new option. And so I can cut this and move it up here, right, and then just get rid of this. And now I've got my, right, I've got my answer choices there. Because you can do that pretty quickly, um, just I just go to the, the preview, right, and then, you know, to, oops, Choose English, go to next, right? Copy this whole thing, go to Google Translate, right? So you can pretty quickly get a new, get a new um, question or a new section up just by copying the English and pasting it in for the language you want. Now, what is this stuff here? I left it in over here. I, um, oops, I copied Spanish, so it was already in Spanish. So I'm showing you which it says. I, leave, I put in P1, P3. Um, I put these in so that uh, to help if, it's, if I'm translating to a language like, say, let's hear. Right, I have question one, answer one, answer one, question. Oh, this is, that should be. Okay, well, I'm not sure why that's there. That should not be there. Okay, I must have left it in on accident, right? So you got the question, answer one, answer two, right? I do that so in case I'm switching to say, you know, some language I don't know like Arabic, I can't read that. I have no idea which, what's what. I don't know what the question is. I don't know what the answer choices are, but I can still see here's a one, here's an A, right? There's a two, so right? And down here it's got this. Right, so that just helps me go, okay, when I copy it and paste it in, I have an idea of what I need. And then I can just um, delete the, you know, in the form, right? In the form, right, just delete. And here's the, for some reason I had the question in there again, don't know why. Right, so just delete the, that's just there to help you figure out where things go. Okay? So, that was the other one, and then, right, multilingual forms with two languages, or making multiple copies if you need, and then with the choice, choose a language. Okay? So, please let's, I, I hope this is helpful. Uh, feel free to contact me if you have any questions, or if there's something I can help you with. Uh, I'm at Chris, um, Chris at ChrisSpackman.com or here OsugiSakai at gmail.com. That's O-S-U-G-I-S-A-K-A-E uh, at gmail.com. And I'm on Mastodon at at Chris underscore Spackman at twit dot social. Um, that's my Mastodon. Um, it's like it's like Twitter, but it's um, defederated. It's a great place. Check it out. And um, you can find me there, like I said, at, at Chris underscore Spackman at twit.social. Okay, thanks. I hope this is helpful.